All right, now with the government in the final lap to unveil regulation for smart cities, developers are clamoring to get a bite of the smart city pie. Confusion still uh, surrounds uh, the issue of whether the government will finally go ahead with the integrated development model. Uh, Saloni caught up with the CEO of SL Infrastructure to discuss their plans. Go ahead. And we expect these guidelines to come by end of this month. Mm -hmm. And we have given our suggestions during course of these interactions. So let's see. Uh, so next week there is a very important, uh, you know, smart city uh, discussion that is happening in Hanover, where you also are participating, where you will unveil the framework that you have built. Uh, what uh, exactly are you, uh, you know, uh, expected to pick up from, uh, uh, you know, the discussion that is happening? Because we are expecting the proposal to be out any time now. Whether it will be an integrated development that the government will look at, or it will be, you know, in silos that the government will want to function. Uh, what exactly are you looking to pick up? What are two, three important points? See, we are looking for obviously integrated approach, uh, which facilitates uh, the delivery uh, in terms of smart city uh, KPIs or uh, service level agreements being met. However, we are open to participate in that uh, activity at uh, service level itself. So, preferred mode is uh, integrated. Uh, however, since we are doing many of these uh, services on ground, we are delivering in brownfield context, mm -hmm. we are open to participate uh, electricity, power, water, uh, municipal solid waste, roads, traffic, mobility, governance, surveillance, individually also. But then how it will be smart is to be seen yeah. <laughs> when the guidelines come. Uh, come. These services are getting outsourced uh, by uh, various, uh, you know, corporations and state bodies from time to time. And we have been winning those businesses, tenders and executing those projects and delivering these services in isolated manner. Wow. So we do power in Nagpur or water in Aurangabad or waste in Jabalpur, waste mm -hmm. to energy project in Jabalpur. Uh, I think the important thing here remains uh, to be seen is whether it is integrated approach or uh, not, or not. <coughs> and how it, it, it transforms in terms of a viable PPP model mm -hmm. is, is to be seen. Right. The government <laughs> is now talking uh, on the PPP model. Uh, so just to understand uh, this further, uh, since you have been doing this for several uh, brownfield uh, cities over the course of the uh, last seven to eight years, where you have done mm -hmm. tidbits mm -hmm. on water, electricity, mm -hmm. you know, waste management, broadband, uh, have you, uh, for under smart cities, uh, have identified municipal corporations or states where you would like to participate under the integrated model? We are in discussion with a few of them at municipal corporation level and uh, at state government level as well. Mm -hmm. So once the policy guidelines are announced, we can uh, take the discussion forward. Okay. Finally, uh, these uh, projects will be bidded out on competitive bidding basis, right. which we will be participating. Okay, up next, a vote of confidence for the Modi government. Moody's raises India's rating outlook to positive.